children today we are going to study english literature lesson 14 rumple stilt skin children this is the story of a poor girl whose father was a poor miller one day her father made a false statement in front of the king and his daughter get got into trouble the poor miller told the king that his daughter knows the art of spinning the straw into gold the king called for her and gave her the task to convert the straw into gold one little man helped her in exchange of her necklace and ring the king married her before getting married one day again the king asked her to change the straw into gold this time before helping the girl little man asked her to give him the first child whom she will give birth somehow she agrees and then in the end of the story she manages to find the name of that little man and gets rid of him now children let us read the first page once in a land far away there lived a poor miller who had a beautiful daughter one day he was talking to the king in order to create an impression on the king he said my daughter knows the art of spinning straw into gold hearing this the king summoned the miller's daughter at once and took her to a room full of straw giving her the spinning wheel he ordered her to spin all the straw into gold in one night if she failed to do it she would die alone and miserable she began weeping as she had no idea how to turn straw into gold children let us understand the first page children there was a poor miller who lived far away in the land children a miller is a person who owns or works in a corn mill he had a daughter who was very beautiful one day this poor miller told the king that his daughter knows how to convert straw into gold children in hindi straw is called powal or bhusa the king was a greedy man so on hearing this he called the miller's daughter and took her in a room which was full of straw he told her that if she fails to convert the straw into gold she will have to die on hearing this she starts crying when let us read the second page suddenly a strange little man entered the room and asked her why she was crying she said that she did not know how to do the task given to her what will i get for transforming all the straw into gold asked the little man she offered her necklace taking it he sat with the wheel going whir 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 until all the reels were full of gold seeing the room full of gold the next morning the king though delighted and astonished grew greedier he locked the miller's daughter in a larger room and set her to do the same task again if she valued her life not knowing how to help herself she was crying as the little man reappeared he asked her what she would give him for helping her the ring on my finger she replied taking the ring the little man again set to turning the wheel to spin the straw into gold by morning the king however locked her again for a third night in a still larger room filled with straw if you spin this to tonight you shall be my wife said the king he thought that even though she was a miller's daughter he could not find a richer wife for himself in the whole world the strange little man came again when she was alone he asked what will you give me if i spin tonight as well i have nothing left to offer you the miller's daughter answered promise me then that if you should 
become the queen, then you will give me your first child. Children, let us understand the second page. While she was crying, a little man enters the room and asks the reason of her crying. She tells him that the king has ordered her to change the straw into gold and she does not know how to do it. The little man converts the straw into gold but in exchange he takes the necklace of the girl. Now again the second time the king locks the miller's daughter in a larger room full of straw and asks her to convert it into gold. This time again the little man helps her and takes her finger ring in exchange. Now the king who was greedy locked her again in the third night in a more larger room filled with straw. The little man again comes to help her but this time since the miller's daughter had nothing so he asks her to give the first child whom she will give birth to after marrying the king. Then let us read the third page. Wondering whether that shall ever happen, she promised the little man and he once again spun the straw into gold. Seeing the room full of gold, the king took the miller, miller's beautiful daughter as his wife. A year later, she gave birth to a beautiful child. And the strange little man appeared before her, demanding the promised, promised child terrified the queen offered all the riches of the kingdom to spare her child. But the little man refused anything else. The queen began to weep bitterly. Seeing her, the little man said, I will give you three days time if by that time you find out my name, then you shall keep your child. For the first two days, the queen tried all the names that she had ever heard. She even sent a messenger to gather any other names that there might be from far and wide. To all the names, Casper, Melchior, Balthazar, and even to the most uncommon and curious ones, skinny ribs, peg leg, sheep's shanks, the little man only replied, that is not my name. On the third day, the messenger came back and said, I could not find a single new name, but when I was deep into the dark forest, I saw a small cottage with the fire burning outside. Round about the fire, quite a ridiculous little man was jumping, hopping on one leg, he cried. Today I bake, tomorrow brew, the next I'll have the young queen's child. Ha! Glad am I that no one knows that skin I am style. Then let us understand the third page. The king was happy and he married the poor miller's daughter. After one year, she gave birth to a child and then the little man arrives. He asks the miller's daughter to fulfill the promise of giving him her first child. On hearing this, she starts weeping. So the little man says that if in three days she finds his name, then he will not take her child. She sends a messenger to find out the little man's name. Two days passed, but the messenger could not find the correct name. On the third day, he tells the queen that in the deep forest, he saw a foolish man who was jumping and hopping on one leg and he was calling himself a rumpelstiltskin. Then let us read and understand the last page. The queen rejoiced upon hearing this. When the little man came again, he asked, What's my name, your highness? At first, the queen responded, Is your name Conrad? No. Is your name Henry? No. Perhaps your name is Rumpelstiltskin. 
the devil told you that the devil told you that shrieked the little man and ran away full of rage and never came back now children let us understand on hearing this the queen became very happy now when the little man came to her and asked her to tell her name first she said your name is conrad and then henry and finally she says that your name is rumpelstiltskin the little man gets disappointed on hearing his name and ran from there in anger and never came back so this is how the story ends children i hope you all must have understood the story do revise it at home thank you and god bless you all